Parallel Cityscapes is an interactive audiovisual environment that imagines the future of personal computing while revealing the hidden spaces and relationships between memories. Parallel Cityscapes depicts the parallels between modern cities and future memory spaces, representing an archive of millions of user-generated photographs, videos, drawings, and computer graphics from the web, coming from mobile devices and from public spaces. Each scene is a dynamic, algorithmically generated, stereoscopic urban landscape with multi-dimensional hyperlinks that offer gateways to parallel scenes. This mind-bending journey is a breathtaking visual paradox between real and virtual, imagining a future in which 3D browsers and media spaces merge with real cities and mobile devices, encouraging more advanced forms of collaboration. Parallel Cityscapes is an interdisciplinary project that blends media and genres to create new art forms. Our goal in this project is to research and explore the expanding frontier of the World Wide Web, creating new ways to visualize the huge amount of data that is amassing on websites like YouTube. Our artwork pushes this information to cell phones, web browsers, and even immersive environments, truly defying classification as a certain type of art. By blending mobile devices, web, and physical spaces, we hope to show how people one day create, share, and search for content on multiple platforms and in multiple dimensions. Much of our research is centered around this type of multidimensionality. We're very interested about the relationships between different media and between these different dimensions. We feel that often much is missed in, in determining the relationships between media. Um, and so Parallel Cityscapes is really about visualizing many of these relationships in ways never thought possible. Um, the project you see here is uh, one of the projects that inspired Parallel Cityscapes. This project is called SIGN, Collaborative Immersive Network Environment, by James Tunick, Miro Kirov, and Houston Riley. Similar to Parallel Cityscapes, this environment uses the city as its hierarchical organizational metaphor for the metaverse. Um, so for example, certain pictures and videos about science fiction might be found in one neighborhood, whereas videos and research on Second Life and virtual worlds might be found in a different part of the city. Um, another inspiration for Parallel Cityscapes is previous work done by Yanis Gronks, um, called Parallel Landscapes. This particular piece uh, was very interesting to us in that it blends genres and mediums um, and, and really set up the model for Parallel Cityscapes in terms of this interdisciplinary vision. Um, our artwork, again, is, is not just an installation. It also exists online. It exists on cell phones. It can be integrated into performance, as you see here. Um, Giannis is actually just adjusting several of the screens and again the idea is that you get this multi-perspective uh, view on the metaverse um, using stereoscopics and goggles is one way, through a web browser is another, through a cell phone is, a, is another way to experience the artwork and, and then in performance as well. The layering of different media content becomes uh, apparent in Parallel Cityscapes in bringing together not only different platforms and different media and genres, but also taking video from various sources. Um, using YouTube as our, as our database and, and back end, we're actually pulling news feeds, user-generated videos, animations, sketches, videos of artworks and performances of musical acts. So the content that is constantly streaming into this layered environment is, is really coming from a variety of different destinations from all over the world um, and portraying different types of content. You can see in the background one news feed coming in um, and again it's all put inside of this stereoscopic constantly shifting um, landscape. Again, a lot of our inspirations have, have also come from, from postmodernism and the idea that 
that art cannot be defined as, as a single genre, that really it is this piecemeal um, aggregate structure sampling from, from different media and, and different genres. Um, that it really is this transdisciplinary visualization of, of the web and of our user-generated content. So let's take a few steps back now and consider parallel cityscapes as a whole. Um, the artwork draws its imagery not only from YouTube, but also from users' mobile phones, live images coming in from physical installations and, and webcams all over New York City and in other cities around the world. So really, Parallel Cityscapes is one of the first attempts in art at, at gaining a, a worldwide perspective, kind of this omniscient point of view where you see all and hear all. Um, again, it's a transdisciplinary project in that it mixes algorithmically generated 3D worlds with performance. Uh, Parallel Cityscapes can be viewed in a web browser, it pulls from YouTube videos, it's got stereoscopic, mobile integration, and uh, can take place also in a multi-user immersive environment. Cell phones are yet another way that people find gateways into Parallel Cityscapes. Uh, cell phones can be used to search YouTube, can also be used to send media like videos and pictures into the virtual environment. Um, also, stereoscopics are, are another way that we hope to take parallel cityscapes and put it into physical spaces, put it into people's hands, put it into the physical environment, and really have it pop out of the screen, um, defying the meaning of, of screen-based media, and saturating our lives with, with ideas, friends, and user-generated content. Visualizing our friends and our user-generated content is really at the foundation of parallel cityscapes. We're trying to find new ways to, to visualize the landscape of videos using YouTube as, as a primary example. But currently, there are no ways to, to search through large data sets. The image that you're seeing here and, and the code that you're seeing here is actually generating 3D spaces on the fly based on information coming from YouTube algorithmically generating a 3D space for every single search creating a bird's eye view search map and real-time 3D visualization of the hidden relationships between friends and media. Part of our research has been focused on video search and trying to imagine what the future of personal computing might look like. Um, video search is in its infancy right now. The current models for video search are extremely inefficient. Most search tools do not yet allow bird's eye views of vast numbers of videos. As the amount of videos and other media assets such as essays, research, and user-generated music continues to grow online, traditional search tools will not be enough. What if you're not browsing for a single video with a known title? but rather you are browsing to see the universe of videos with the tag, say, for Second Life. Using current traditional search engines such as Google or YouTube, a keyword search for Second Life would take you hours, days, or even years to sort through the 4,076 results on YouTube or the daunting 474 million results on Google. And even once you have gone through these search results, it might be hard to see the relationships of the videos and the results to each other, much less remember where those videos were located in the search. Due to the way our brain is built and the fact that we live in a 3D world, our ability to remember 3D spaces and navigate 3D spaces is highly advanced. As a result, 3D search can be more efficient than 2D search in certain situations, such as browsing large data sets. In summary, synthetic landscape-like scenes are generated from a large database of images and videos coming from YouTube. Our work emphasizes the idea that multi-layered structures of metaphysical time-space can exist online as well as in physical spaces. Various hypotheses propagating the existence of parallel universes explain that all the potential variations about any situation as well as past, present, and future events take place simultaneously and influence our reality. 
In the technologically mediated world, the visible reality, artificially made maps, and human inner experiences of space diffuses into a paradoxical composite image.